What's going on Sky Gladiators? This is Bhav J. As I promise you, I'll brought a tutorial to you on how you can run After Effects on a low spec PC. As you can see on screen, these are my specifications. I have a i3 2GHz processor, which is 4 core processor. And in memory, you can see I have 4 GB memory with 3.7 only usable. And on screen, you can see my other specifications. So give it a check and then we'll go to our steps. Heading on to the first step, you have to go to the Windows logo, right click on it and go to the system settings. So after going to the system settings, you have to wait for some seconds and then go to system info. After going to the system info, as you can see on screen, we have to go to advanced system settings. Then we have to go to the performance tab, click on settings and adjust it for best performance. What it does, you can see your thumbnails and the text may become a little bit choppy, text and the shadows are not enabled now, but it makes a PC way more faster to use. Now again go to the system info, advanced system settings, performance tab, under performance tab, advanced and change the virtual memory. Now I have not applied these settings because it causes some error to my PC. So just see yourself. In, in initial size, the MBs should be your RAM. In case of mine, it is 4 GB. So I put 4096, then maximum multiplied by 1.5 and click on set for three times. Apply it. As I already told, I can't. After applying it, will ask you to restart your PC. So just restart your PC. So for the next step, you have to go to the search, type in CMD. It may take some time depending on your PC specifications. So after you type in CMD, you have to run it as an administrator. It will ask for your permission. You have to click yes. After the command prompts open, Paste this line given in description. What this line does, it gives a new power scheme named ultimate performance. To enable it, you have to go to the battery icon or you can go to power options through control panel. So in here, as you can see, I have already enabled the ultimate performance, but if it doesn't show to you, you have to click on show additional power plans. It will show to you, enable it. What it does, 90% of your PC is always on ultimate performance. Okay, so for the next step, you have to go to Google Chrome. You have to download Process Hacker and you have to download Quick CPU. Double click on Quick CPU and wait for it to open. It may take some time as it depends on your PC. Again, it may take some time. After quick CPU opens, you just need to follow my steps, as you can see on screen. Now under the advanced CPU settings, as you can see, you can copy my settings if you want to, but I will recommend you not to mess up with these settings, otherwise you will be you'll be sitting with a pc that is that is having an overheat problem or something so do not mess with these settings i'm just showing you my settings but do not mess with them okay so after you can just apply these settings and you can close the quick cpu Now in here, as you can see, the memory is being taken by many apps like these. So to end these apps or there will, there's a very profound app for that. That is the anti-malware service executable. You can end task it by process hacker. You just have to open process hacker and you just have to write, write, write msmpng or the name of the, you can find it from here and you can just end task it, just terminate it and it will be gone. It will be just end task, it will just terminate it. So you can do it with everything and then you can go to services if you see these services are these are many services which are taking ram behind okay so you can go to open services you can disable those services as you can see just follow my steps if you want to disable these kinds of services
for the next step you have to open run and type in there temp temp a folder will appear right next to you and you have to open one more folder that is percentage temp percentage as you can see on screen percentage temp percentage so when you open both the folders you have to delete everything which is in that folder everything might not be deleted as some application in background might be running on these temps so delete those folders which are deletable the folder which you cannot delete or it is try again or skip you have to skip these folders so i'll just cut it when i deleted all these files and then we'll go to the next step now the next step is one of the most important step what you do is delete a 100 gb file or a, a 200 gb file then you forgot to defrag you have to defrag your drive because in the hard drive it becomes fragments of memory so what defrag does it just makes a straight line if you if you imagine a line a fragmented line it just makes a straight line so remember always always defrag your drives every week later and disk clean up your device to delete any dx shader temps and etc things for the next step you need to open a go to edits and preferences before going to edits and preferences let me tell you a thing just on your keyboard hold shift while opening these settings as you can see on screen i was about to open these settings where i forgot to press shift so you have to hold shift go to preferences and open any of these like general uh we're going to start with general okay you have to wait so when it opens just go to media and disk cache okay so as you can see here a secret tab has appeared so minimum disk cache set it to be 20 gb 20 GB or 25 depends on you so if you have another volume or an SSD you can choose folder that SSD to store the temp that will make your performance a little bit or you can say more efficient then go to previews adapted resolution limit to 1 by 16 zoom quality to be faster color management quality to be faster then go to your memory so in here this is one of the most amazing thing I tried ram reserve for other applications get it to the max as possible so in my case it's 2.7 gb here what i let me explain that to you you'll be asking why we are giving ae less ram so in here as you can see 3.5 or 350 mb of ram is already being used by my pc in after effects after effects already using this much of ram think after effects use 60 percent of the ram the whole windows goes not respond so when the whole windows got not respond the whole window stuck you will say the whole pc is stuck and after effects so think it you are rendering a file and it loads a very heavy effects for which it needs like 60 percent of your ram and your whole pc goes like what the fuck i can't render that so that's a real good problem so it in these settings it only uses 20 percent of your memory but it will not it will not give you a problem of not respond or it will crash but not that frequent now go to the setting tab secret tab and follow my steps and after that you have to click ok and you have to save that so for the next step this is my secret i always use you guys added on 1080p i had it on 720p yes i had it on 720p what it does it's a lower resolution it gives good preview to me i add sharpen to it then i go to media encoder and encode it so what it does i encode in 1080p or 4k what you can change the resolution here so the custom resolution i'll go with 5 not 4 4 is already quarter sorry go with 5 so that's the best custom resolution and another thing i like to tell you the clips i use are always like less than 100 mb and less than one minute and are 720p it gives me a good preview and the things work for me very fine so as you can see i've imported the clip and it's a little bit less for resolution but still it gives time for edit and you know it's good in here the next step you have to open task manager you have to select the other way after effects right click on it go to its details after going to its details right click on after effects then set priority to high not real time then set affinity or the set affinity deselect the cpu zero click on ok and you're gotta go with it 
so for the next step what you have to do what i do sometimes i enter the explorer exe so only after effects is running it sure gives a little bit boost to the performance you can also try so when your work is done just go to process in file run new task and write explorer.exe click on ok and the explorer exe and your windows is back ok so in here as you can see we are done with these settings So just remember after you do a project you have to clear your disk cache so just remember after 15 to 20 minutes just delete the disk cache and save your project close after effects run it once again and you are good to go with it that will break your flow for a little bit of time but will make the after effects work fine and also you can go to run you can write app data in there and then you have to go to local low and then you have to find your adobe then adobe after effects that's 17 or what whatever it may be written there you can change the core files from there too i will not give my core files to you as i'll see if this tutorial gains a little bit more views as views for motivation man then i will think to give away that file but till then you can follow my tips and tricks you can edit it by yourself if you know more about after effects now what you can do is like you can just use your after effects and close it you can after you have done the project before rendering you can restart your pc and do these things so as you can see i have told you all the tips and tricks you can use to make ae work more better for you so hope you click on that subscribe button, like this video and share this video to other low spec editors that add on the you know, same specifications. Till then, refresh your PC. See ya. We'll see you in another video.